Well, hello everyone, it's me, Daniel with Website Candy, and today we're doing something a little bit different here. I'm going to show you how to make Siri a little bit smarter. So let's go ahead and do a quick beta test to see how Siri does in reference to sending my daughter a text message. So let me go ahead and give it a shot here. Send my daughter a text message. Okay, so that's my son right there, and Siri has failed. Let me cancel that there. And let's go ahead and cancel that because Siri has failed. And the reason why she's failed is because computers are all about input in and input out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search my daughter here. I'm going to go to her profile here, and I'm going to just hit edit. And then I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom. And I'm going to get down here to where it says add field is where you actually want to go. So over here in the field, what I want to do is I want to add uh, some type of uh, little suffix here to kind of help me out here. So I'm going to say nickname and I'm going to say my daughter. So I use Siri again there for the sake of the video to make sure that we're not taking forever to do that there. So here we are now um, back to my daughter. And as you can see here, right underneath her name right there, you can see it says my daughter. So let's go ahead and go back to the search here. Let's hit cancel and let's go back to Siri now. And sometimes it takes one or two times to let Siri know what's going on. And you'll see the result here. So let's go ahead and try it. Send my daughter a text message. Okay, what do you want to say to Dominique Williamson? But as you can see there, Siri, you know, hit a home run the first time right out the park in reference to me kind of letting Siri know the nickname of my daughter and giving her, you know, pretty much understanding of what it is that I'm looking for. So if your phone's not necessarily working for you, think about it this way. It could be you in reference to not programming the computer as far as the input to get the output that you're trying to receive. So go ahead and give it a try. Let me know how it works out for you. And I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye now.